What's up, Key Issues? We're back with another Who Is video, and today we're talking about Shazam's villain, Dr. Savannah. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to become legendary so you don't miss any Key Issues content, and let us know if there's any legends down in the chat. Dr. Savannah is Shazam's oldest and most frequent enemy in the Golden Age. He first appeared in Wiz Comics number 2 and has been a thorn in the side of Shazam ever since. In fact, he's appeared in more comic books than any other Shazam villain, including the infamous Black Adam. Savannah is extremely intelligent and is in a constant war with the world because he feels like an outcast, someone who isn't appreciated for his brilliant work. He's essentially like a more self-conscious and uglier Lex Luthor. However, Savannah is a rather tragic character. He was a brilliant mind who was shunned by the people of Earth, so he just up and left, making a home on Venus where he even created his own Super Savannah family to combat the Captain Marvel family. You know, typical goofy Golden Age stuff. But after DC acquired the rights to both Captain Marvel as well as Savannah, they overhauled his backstory. Savannah was changed from a crazy, over-the-top Golden Age scientist to a once-brilliant business tycoon and the step-uncle to Billy Batson, who fell from grace because of his obsession with Shazam. His misadventures would pit him against more than just Shazam throughout his history, and he would even team up with Lex Luthor during Final Crisis. But once the new 52 launched, his backstory was changed yet again. Savannah received an entirely new origin and a complete overhaul for DC's New 52 relaunch. The Shazam backup story running within the pages of the monthly Justice League comic book established that Savannah was desperately searching for a magical cure to save his diseased family from dying. After failing to form a lasting alliance with Black Adam, Savannah teamed up with Mr. Mind, another longtime nemesis of Shazam. But with the new 52 making way for DC Rebirth, it's unclear when and if we will see Savannah again. In the trailer, it seems that Savannah has the strength to stop a punch from Shazam, which is insane because Shazam has the power of Hercules behind that punch. Whether Savannah gains this power through science or through magic remains unclear, but it seems that he is definitely inspired by the New 52 version of the character, not the Silver Age or Golden Age version of the character. I think it's really interesting that they chose Savannah for this film, and I think it'll work out pretty well. It's unfortunate that we won't be able to see Black Adam this early in the Shazam universe, especially with the rocky footing that the DC Extended Universe seems to be standing on, but maybe we'll see a cameo. But regardless, I'm excited for Savannah. What do you think? Are you pumped to see more of this guy, or are you just not that interested? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. It does really, really help us out. And remember the motto, it's comics over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.